little bit about um, another type of figurative language today. Hopefully this thing will open. There we go. So, in the past, we've learned that figurative language is a word or a phrase that does not have its normal everyday literal meaning. It's used by the writer for the sake of comparison or dramatic effect. So a simile is a comparison of two unlike things using the words like or as. We've been practicing these the last couple days. So today we're going to learn about a metaphor. Metaphor is pretty similar to a simile. Get that? <laughs> similar simile. So anyway, a metaphor is also a comparison, but it doesn't use the words like or as. It will often use the words is or are. Instead of saying he is like a shining star, a metaphor says he is a shining star. Here are some examples. She has a heart of stone. That tells us that her heart isn't beating anymore. It tells us that she has no compassion for anyone. The second one says, life is a roller coaster which everyone has to go through. Life has its ups and downs and we have high points and low points and that's something that everybody has to endure in their life. If Another example, if we say they were eaten up by hatred, this does not mean they were literally eaten up, obviously. It means that their hatred was so intense that it took over their lives. So what we're going to do next is we're going to watch a quick video about similes and metaphors. I think we are anyway. There we go. Similes and metaphors can usually be confusing. I'm sure you are all just buzzing with questions about when to use each one, and I'm positive your mind is boggled about what the difference between the two is. Mostly, I'm sure you're just wondering how long this will take, but I can assure you that in no time at all, you're going to be total experts on these fascinating figures of speech. Let's first start with a simple definition of simile. Joe Schmo here tells us that a simile is used to compare two unlike things using the phrases like or as. Let's take a closer look at Joe. For a stick figure, he seems like a smart, good-looking guy, but let's do him some real justice and describe how we really see him. We don't want to be boring and just say Joe is strong and smart. That's lame, really lame. Instead, we can use similes to be as descriptive as we want. We can say Joe is like a strong horse. What images pop into your mind when we use that phrase? That's right. We get a more vivid image and idea of the fact that Joe is a buff guy with big muscles. What if Joe has a really big brain and we think he is super intelligent? What can we compare him to? We could say, Joe is as smart as an Einstein. This statement obviously lets us know that Joe is a serious smarty pants. Now that you've got similes down pat, let's take it up a notch and move to metaphors. Metaphors are a lot like similes, except that they compare things without using like or as. Also, metaphors make our comparisons more direct. So let's look at Joe and the horse again. Instead of saying he is like a horse, we can say Joe is a horse. What image do we get in our head? No, not a centaur Joe. Instead, we more explicitly understand Joe's strength. We can also interpret this metaphor to mean different things. That Joe is exactly like a horse in his strength, appearance, and appetite. See, more direct. How about another example? Look at Joe again. He's had a long, hard night, and he's a little cranky about having to wake up and go to work. Not to mention, Joe hasn't had his coffee, so he is certainly on edge. What do we think of Joe when we say he is like a zombie in the morning? That's right, we see a tired Joe who is not to be messed with. While Joe is obviously not his usual self, we understand that Joe will eventually perk up with a bit of coffee and be back to his old self. Now what happens when we turn our simile into a metaphor? How exactly do we do that? That is exactly right. We say Joe is a zombie in the morning. 
This image of Joe is far more frightening and lets us know in a more direct way that Joe is nowhere near himself. This metaphor gives us the image that we need to run away far and fast in the opposite direction. Make sure you run and don't stop because Crazy Joe will come after you. It's a scary sight to see. So let's do a little recapping. Similes compare two or more things using like or as. A metaphor compares two things without using like or as. Which one offers a more direct comparison? That's right, metaphor. Great job, you rock stars, you. And finally, what do you do when you either see someone like a zombie or someone who is a zombie? Run. Thank you very much for viewing my project on similes and metaphors. I hope you've learned a lot about figurative language and a little something on zombie safety. So, that was quite interesting, don't you think? So what you're going to do now is the substitute is going to give you a paper about metaphors. I want you to try your best and don't forget to put your name on it and hand it into the done pile when you're finished. I will see you on Monday.